Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Uh, it's been a little over a week since I did my last video on the Camaro update. And for those of you that have watched that video, uh, there hasn't been a whole lot going on since then. Um, we are currently getting pummeled with snow or ready to get pummeled with snow at the moment. Weather has been really cold and we're expecting to get a whole bunch more snow tomorrow. Um, today is uh, Monday, they called off work already. Um, so I'm going to show you what I have been doing in the last weekend and I don't think you've seen this. For those of you that did watch the previous video with the um, catfish project, uh, these are the wheels that I bought on the car. They are uh, Z06 replicas. They are chrome but they have been plasti dipped black. I took those off the car. I don't like them. Um, I started peeling plasti dip off of them and the chrome is in pretty good shape underneath. The tires are all mint. Uh, those are going to be going to my brother. He's going to put those on his GTA. So uh, to replace those, I bought OEM SS wheels. These would have uh, been original to what the car would have came with in 2001, which is really what I want. I want the car to look factory on the exterior. Um, so I do have two of those on right now, but the current tires I have are junk. Uh, let's see what I got here. I did just put one inch spacers in the back because I do have the long lug studs for the Mosier axles. And I put a quarter inch spacer in the front. Looks so much better, I think so anyways. So that's what's going on with that. Um, I do have drag radials coming on Wednesday and I'm gonna swap over the front tires from the ones that were on the Z06 wheels because those are 17s. Uh, the rears on the Z06s are 18s though, so I couldn't reuse those. So I ended up getting a, a Nitto uh, drag radio. Um, Hopefully that works out good for me. Uh, I'd actually like some input on that. If anybody is running a Nitto drag radio, uh, put some, some input in the comments down below. I'd like to hear about it and how they grip and, and what your thoughts are on those. What I'm also doing right now is uh, I pulled the air cleaner off this car the other day and uh, it's got a K&N filter in it. And the thing is just disgusting. So what I did is I went and bought um, it's a degreaser called an awesome degreaser. I've heard a bunch of people talk about this stuff and say that it's awesome. Let me get a video of this here. So I got this at uh, Family Dollar for like $3.50. So I have the um, K&N filter soaking in a tub right now. I'm going to get that all cleaned up and put that back in the car because it looks like the car is going to be sitting in here probably for the next three weeks or so uh, until the roads clear back up. Right now I got the truck outside and the, the plows on it and I'm ready to go. Uh, tomorrow at 7 a.m. it's supposed to start snowing. And they are expecting uh, 18 to 24 inches of snow down in our area. So I do have the Meyer plow on the truck and it's ready to go. I had to dig it back out. I took the thing off a little while ago, uh, a month ago or so because we haven't gotten any snow out. I had to dig it back out of the woods and put it back on again, tested everything and, and everything's working good. Pumped up all the tires, set all my tire pressures, a little bit of weight in the back. And um, that's what's going on with that. Uh, I'll probably do a video tomorrow when we're, when we're getting hammered with snow. And maybe I'll set up the dash cam on it and, and do a little bit of plowing with it. But there's not much I can do with a Camaro really. Uh, as far as taking it out of the garage or driving it until this snow clears up a little bit and uh, the roads start to clear up so it looks like it's going to stay back in the garage again for a little while. I did purchase the uh, SCT X4 tuner for this car. Let me grab that out real quick. It was actually uh, the guy that I purchased the car from had offered it to me originally and and uh, I had passed on it at the beginning just because I was already spending so much money on the car and, and I was like, you know what, no, not, not right now, maybe if I change my mind. So, uh, about a week went by and I messaged a guy again and I was like, hey, you know, will you still sell me the thing? Uh, if you do, um, I'd like to get it and if, if, if you'll ship it to me. So he's like, yeah, yeah, no problem. Send it on over, uh, send me over the money through PayPal and uh, I'll ship it over to you right away. And he did. Send him over money on Friday and he had it to my door on Tuesday. So that was awesome. So here's something funny. I just uh, finished rinsing off that filter and brought it up into the bathtub to rinse it off and I'm rinsing all the dirt out of it and I'm like, hmm, wait a minute. Aren't all Canon air filters supposed to be red? Because mine's not. It looks 
pretty white to me with a metal grate around it. Everything else about it looks like it's a K&N, like the shape and the grate. Um, so I started doing a Google search and I'm like, are all K&N air filters red? Uh, I couldn't really find an answer on that. Does anybody else know this? Uh, if so, I would like to know. So that's really it for today. There's not much of an update. Uh, I will probably do a video tomorrow, although like I said, of the snowstorm and keep uh, you guys updated on that. And that's going to start about 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, and I'll probably have a video up later in the day. So stay tuned for that. Um, for those of you just watching my videos, please uh, click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, I always appreciate that. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.